We all know how planets in the solar system all revolve around the sun, and they have been doing so and will keep doing so for a long time. When ancient astronomers first began to understand the motion of planets as seen from Earth, they started believing in some kind of harmony, some kind of perfect balanced dance among the planets, known as the harmony of the spheres. For example, Copernicus thought the planets move in circular orbits around the sun. But belief in the harmony of the spheres assumed a decisive role in the cosmology of Johannes Kepler. Kepler goes beyond Copernicus's static model of circular spheres to hypothesize a dynamic one. He transforms into ellipses the orbits traversed by the planets at variable speeds. He attributes to each planet not a single sound, but an interval in which the lowest note corresponds to minimum velocity, the highest to the maximum. This perfect equilibrium, this harmony of the spheres, seems immutable. If you could leave the solar system and come back in one billion years or so, you would not expect it to have changed a lot. So it's very unlikely something catastrophic happens. But what if it did? What if, for example, Mars hits the Earth? Keep watching Insane Curiosity and join me on this journey as I explore this terrifying yet interesting possibility. I will guide you through the theories and simulations that scientists have done to answer this question, discover what could happen and how, and understand the dangers of such an event. Also, consider how we can protect the planet from such devastation. The thought of Mars and Earth bumping into each other may seem completely impossible at first simply because these planets are on two different orbits around the Sun. However, according to the video's host, Gabe perez Giz, Earth and Mars can also be affected by the gravitational forces exerted by other planets in the solar system. Now, those extra tugs are tiny, but if everything lines up just right, then over billions of years, they could have a sizable cumulative effect and distort those orbits. In order to understand what would happen and how, scientists need to run a bunch of simulations taking into account a lot of physics and considering certain caveats. In one of the simulations, they decided to perturb just a little the harmony of the spheres. What they did was to move Mercury away by just one meter. Then they got up from their chairs and went to make some coffee. When they came back, the simulations over billions of years clearly showed that in this scenario, the orbits of the outer planets stretched out due to Mercury's new position. This caused Earth's orbit around the Sun, Venus and Mars to expand. The scientists then discovered that Earth's new trajectory would place it in a different collision course with Mars in 4 billion years. This was amazing and scary at the same time. Here's why. If Mars hits the Earth, the consequences would be devastating. The impact would cause massive damage on an unprecedented scale. The force of the collision would be tremendous, creating massive earthquakes and tsunamis in all parts of the world, as well as earthquakes and volcanic activity. These disasters could cause a global catastrophe, as communities and cities are destroyed by violent volcanic eruptions, tsunamis and earthquakes. The Earth would be engulfed in a firestorm of gas, dust and debris that would cause temperatures to rise significantly, leading to a global climate shift and extreme weather patterns. The amount of energy released by the impact would be significant, killing thousands and leaving millions homeless. In the aftermath, the shock wave and subsequent air waves of energy would spread in all directions, leading to a global famine as crops, livestock and other resources are destroyed. The Earth's infrastructure and vegetation would be ruined. The effects of such an event would also have a long-term effect on the future of humanity as we know it. It would be difficult to rebuild and might take generations before the planet returns to a state of normalcy. In addition, the radiation and increased temperatures would cause ecological damage and might even lead to the extinction of some species due to the massive destruction. In the aftermath of the collision, if you did manage to get away in a spaceship, you'd see the massive remnants of both planets catapult into different orbits. Some of them would hit other planets, while others would be fired out of the solar system entirely. Whatever was left would form a new asteroid belt encircling the Sun. Nothing would tell there was once intelligent life on planet Earth, and you and I and all the people you know would be gone forever. 
Perhaps no intelligent alien life would have ever known we've been present in the cosmos at some point in the history of the future. But what's really interesting is that astrophysicists are almost sure a similar impact took place in the far past. And it created the Moon, our beautiful satellite. The so-called giant impact theory proposes that the Moon formed during a collision between the Earth and another small planet, about the size of Mars. The debris from this impact collected into an orbit around the Earth to form the Moon. Some evidence supports this theory. For instance, when the rock sample from the Apollo mission came back, they showed that the Earth and the Moon have some remarkable chemical and isotopic similarities, suggesting that they have a linked history. The scenario takes into consideration the proto-Earth and a roughly Mars-sized planet called Thea. The giant impact model suggests that at some point in the Earth's very early history, these two bodies collided. During this massive collision, nearly all of Earth and Thea melted and reformed as one body, with a small part of the new mass spinning off to become the Moon as we know it. Scientists have experimented with modeling the impact, changing the size of Thea to test what happens at different sizes and impact angles, and trying to get the nearest possible match. Earth and Theo were made of almost exactly the same materials to begin with, as they were within the same neighborhood as the solar system was forming. If the two bodies had come from the same place and were made of similar stuff to begin with, this would also explain the similar composition of the two, as suggested by the Apollo mission samples. In this new video from NASA, we can appreciate the most detailed simulation ever made to recreate the initial and post-impact conditions of the giant impact scenario. This simulation shows the Moon may have formed in a matter of hours when material from the Earth and a Mars-sized body was launched directly into orbit after the impact. The simulations used in this research are some of the most detailed of their kind, operating at the highest resolution of any simulation run to study the Moon's origins or other giant impacts. In order to prevent the frightening scenario of Mars hitting the Earth, it is important to maintain the perfect balance of planets around the Sun. If all planets are in perfect alignment and far enough apart, the risk of an impact is eliminated. This balance must be kept so that the solar system can function harmoniously, with every planet moving in a predictable fashion and each maintaining its orbit as it should. Keeping the planets in a state of perfect equilibrium is essential for the survival of life on Earth and for the health of the solar system. With the perfect balance of planets, the solar system will remain stable and secure, and the future of life on Earth will be secure. The only problem with this is that gravitational forces are slightly sensitive to changes, even if small. We've already seen it in the case of Mercury, but engineers and dynamicists know it very well too. In principle, if we know the state of a system in the present, we can predict what it was like in the past and how it will behave in the future. But this is only in principle because in practice we use computers and run some simulations. And computers are not perfect. Every computation you do on a computer will be characterized by some error. The smallest, the better, of course, but our computations will never be perfect. And in the long run, for example, over billions of years, a small error could propagate and give different results. If Mercury was only moved by a fraction of a meter, this would end up in a catastrophic event over a timescale of billions of years. The same thing happens to artificial satellites around the Earth. That's why engineers need correction maneuvers to keep them in the desired orbits around the Earth or its Lagrangian points. There are algorithms for that and they are really hard to implement. There's a lot of research going on to ensure the stability of these orbits. In conclusion, the possibility of a collision between Earth and Mars is a frightening reality, but it is essential that the harmony of the spheres is maintained by keeping the planets in a state of perfect equilibrium in order to avoid this catastrophe. Humanity must also protect our planet by doing all that we can to maintain the perfect balance of planets in our solar system. This will help to ensure the future of life on Earth and the stability of our solar system.